All right, looks like we might have a good game here. Got the record going. We got uh, Red Room, aka Joe, aka Tight for Life, aka Tight and Joe, top left. Got uh, Netine, aka Nice One, aka Cambria, aka Shredded, maybe, aka who knows, and bottom left. Uh, we got Gray Honda in top right and Mystery Nod, then bottom right. Uh, obviously and for sure, my money is on the left side, but you never know. They might pull off some cheap shit on the right side, as is their specialty, and make it happen. But Red Rum and Cambria is a pretty outrageously overpowered team. We got the two ref war coming. We got full eco going in top left. Standard four ref, maybe five in top right. Minimum four in bottom right. Let's see, it's getting the radar, getting the harv. Looks like bottom left's going for the blue tib, light inf, two ref. Looks like he's going to get open here unless he answers that quickly. Pro silo placement, excellent speed. So bottom left will be open, which is going to alert the right side of their plans, but Cambry is pretty much the best at this situation, so I bet he's going to make it work regardless. Bottom right does have pretty good uh, anti-GDI, but at the same time, he's probably not going to survive, or at least will be severely crippled. If he gets the War Factory, it'll pretty much uh, mute bottom right. It's going for a second disruptor. Looks like you might uh, take a shot at top right. Got five ref and top left. Four horrors defense and bottom right. Face under attack. Face under attack. Yikes. Horrible placement in top right. Paid for it. Let that be a lesson. Panic cell. This bottom right is teched. Getting the APCs rolling. Bottom right is going to have to do serious damage quickly in order to give top right a chance to recover. Top left's teching. Played it safe. Looks like bottom right's not scouted yet, so he's going with the Orca. Base under attack. Believe we have engineers in the map right there. Top left's going for some disruptors. Top right's Base in recovery attack. mode. APC on the way, currently target on the MCV is not going to happen. Probably going to see him redirect to a refinery. Bottom left way too early on the expand. Hopefully that'll pay off for him later, but I'd, I'd definitely recommend uh, establishing some money down here. Lost track of the APC, MCV grab, good move, and top right is dead as fuck,
Yikes. So this is pretty much GG. There's no way bottom right's going to be able to overpower both of them, much less probably even one of them. Gonna have some hard bomb attempts. Got CCNG and the APC. Bottom left's hurting for money. Four harps, two roughs. Bottom right must KO somebody to be able to stay in this game, and even then, it's going to be hard. What the hell is that bomber doing? Hard bomb on the war. Control it. So if that war dies, bottom left's gonna have to actually start trying. Ooh. Snipe. You better stop those disc throwers, dude. Honda gives up. CC out. Somehow the war died. Don't know how that happened. Bottom right is going to make a desperate play at this pad. Top left's reduced to hard bombs and an MK. But uh, top left is phenomenal with the MK, so that harassment is going to make it impossible for bottom right to win. Even if bottom wasn't, wasn't a better player with a better spot on his own. in the APC. That wouldn't have happened if it was vet map. But I guess six bombers should be able to get KO'd, or six tick tanks should be able to get KO'd by one bomber. That makes sense, right? For everybody who bitches about the vet patch, uh, that right there should. Uh, I'd like to see an argument against that.
Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut the feed here. This is over. See you in the next one.